Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Keep watching as I'm going to show you what I made for Thanksgiving as well as some of my Black Friday hauls. So let's start by going to a church rummage sale. I've taken you to this neighborhood before but I wanted to take you again because it is the last rummage sale of the year at this particular church. And I really love the neighborhood because it is full of mature gardens. And as you can see here, the trees have started changing color because of fall. So I really love going to this particular rummage sale because the goods are spread over two floors so there's a lot to see and rummage through if you forgive the little joke so um lots of um the rooms are open for you to go in and dig around and as you can see here the church has really beautiful stained glass windows this particular rummage sale also had baked goods for sale and I also noticed that they had set up debit machines so you could pay for your purchases via debit and not have to worry about not having enough cash on hand. I also spotted this nativity display for sale in the Christmas section. The price as you can see was $15. I was really, really tempted to get it because I just thought it was so sweet and charming. Let me know if you would have bought it if you had seen it. Then after the rummage sale, I stepped out to Chapters, which was on the high street in that neighborhood. I've taken you to Chapters before, but I love going in and just checking out their seasonal display. So as you can see, they had their Christmas um, goodies out on display. It's always such a cheerful sight, just looking at all the Christmas displays in the stores. So it's just so heartwarming to me and really puts me in the mood for Christmas, which is just around the corner. Next, I want to take you to a Christmas market at a, another church. At this time of year, lots of churches have Christmas markets. And if you don't live in Canada, you may not know that we are in the middle of a postal strike, which has impacted a lot of small businesses. So going to a Christmas market is a good way to pick up unique Christmas gifts and support local businesses because you can just buy it in person and not have to have them attempt to send it to you. Next, I'm going to show you what I made for Thanksgiving, which was a pot roast. I've talked about my pot roast before, so I won't go into too much detail as to how I made it, but as you can see here, first of all, I brown off the beef, which in this case was a blade roast. Then I add in my homemade chicken stock, and I made a video on how to make homemade chicken stock if you want to check it out. Then I added in sliced red shallots, uh, carrots, a couple of twigs of thyme and a bay leaf as well as seasonings. So here is my Thanksgiving dinner all plated up. The roast beef was in a Dutch oven, in the oven, for one and a half hours because it was only a small cut of meat. And I made mashed potatoes, peas and carrots on the side. My mashed potatoes are quite chunky because I really like mashed potatoes that, that are quite chunky because it comes across to me anyways, as quite uh, homemade and authentic in that way, I felt so thankful, truly, truly thankful, because when I think back to how my life was a year ago, I was still a student, and I feel like so much has changed in the intervening year. 
If you're a Swifty, then you know that Taylor Swift came to Toronto and played several concerts here. Even if you weren't able to snag a ticket, there were lots of events going on around town that tied in with her arrival. For example, there was a pop-up art gallery installation at Eaton Centre that was free to enter. While I was at Eaton Centre, I noticed that the Christmas display was up and if you keep watching the enormous Christmas tree, you'll notice the amazing light display. Let me know wherever you are at, whether or not your city or town has a Christmas light display. I just love looking at light displays, especially because winters in Canada are so long and dark. I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked up in my travels around town. I picked up this chocolate variety box from Purdy's, which is a Canadian chocolate company. I really love their chocolate variety box, especially um, when it comes out at Christmas time, because it contains a variety of their classics. In this case, as you can see, they have hedgehogs, which has a soft center, as well as sweet Georgia Browns, which is like turtles on steroids. Next, I want to show you my Black Friday haul from The Ordinary. The amazing thing about The Ordinary is that they run their Black Friday sale all throughout the month of November and it's 23% off and they also do other things like a gift with purchase and other deals that you can stack on top of the sale price which makes it a really great deal. Next I want to take you to Mountain Equipment Co-op. So the one that I went to is located inside the Bay downtown. I didn't go to the much larger standalone store. But the reason why I wanted to go in is because I thought that it would be a really great place to pick up an unusual gift, especially if the person that you are shopping for is really outdoorsy. But if you've ever been into a mountain equipment co-op, then you know that they carry a huge selection of goods for anyone who's really outdoorsy. So this store had um, quite a good selection of um, cold weather accessories like gloves, socks, um, beanies, and hats. So there was still a lot of variety to take a look at. Speaking of winter clothing and accessories, a recurring problem that I've had for some time now is having moths destroy my woolen clothes. So as you can see here, this wool cardigan has been completely munched on by moths. So if you have any suggestions on how I can avert this problem, please let me know. I've tried everything, including cedar, balls, lavender, sachets. I've tried everything except for moth balls because I can't stand the fumes. So I was really happy to um, buy this Muji cardigan. It's actually quite similar in tone um, to the shredded cardigan. It's just a difference in lighting. I wanted to leave you with a last glimpse of the changing foliage around town. Autumn is not just the time for Thanksgiving, but it is also harvest time. I think those red berries that you see here are ornamental cherries. I've not tried tasting them. If you know what they are, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on that notification bell. It really helps my channel.